one thing in life that not everybody really understands that took me a while to really realize myself is that not everybody was meant to be successful. And what I mean by that is, is that not everybody was meant for success. It's, it sounds kind of harsh, but when you really think about it in layman's terms, it, it almost makes sense. My, 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 uh, my English teacher back in high school told me that we need people that don't want to accomplish a lot of things in their life or that don't want to set goals that are so extraordinary compared to someone else's goals, that we need people that are complacent with just achieving the bare minimum in life. Now, there is nothing wrong with those that are just comfortable with the white picket fence, a nice paying salary job, and you know, a loving wife, maybe a couple kids and a dog. But, you know, a lot of people, especially nowadays in the, in the age of technology, a lot more people want more for themselves. And a lot more people want to do the not so average job of being a influencer on social media or I don't know a fucking twitch streamer on on twitch nobody wants to be at McDonald's flipping burgers or fucking Bob's moving heavy ass furniture all day you know the especially a lot of people in my generation um, I believe it's Gen Z I was born in the year 2000 so a lot of kids my age I feel like we're gonna be the ones that really break the system in terms of not wanting to do the odd jobs you know and the sad part of reality is that we really need these people we need really need people that want to do these odd jobs that don't have a lot going for themselves you know and like it, it, it's it's very important it really is now say for example like one thing that me and my friend always talked about this is prior to high school so this is like middle school era and we used to talk about you know like nobody nobody wants to be a firefighter any a firefighter anymore nobody wants to be a fucking nurse or there's a lot of people that want to be nurses but like nobody wants to really be to go to school to be a doctor or a, uh, a x-ray technician or a, a IT tech for computers at a hospital or you know nobody wants to do these things anymore because it's, it's not especially in today's age it's not seen as the ideal job anymore and we're gonna run into a problem in the future where we're not gonna have people to want to do these jobs for us and it's not entirely our fault you know the system creates these solutions for the problems that they also created because in the future, while we don't want, while we ourselves don't want to be flipping burgers, even though that is a teenager's job, and though there are a lot of people that are above the age of 21 that are working at these fast food places or these restaurants flipping burgers and serving, you know, serving the restaurant, not everybody's gonna wanna do that. And pretty soon, technology is gonna be replacing a lot of these jobs that nobody wants to do. On one end of the spectrum, it sounds like a pretty good idea because, hey, if nobody's going to want to do it, at least we have robots that do it for us. But then at the same time, it's going to advance to the part. It's going to advance to the point that robots are even taking the jobs that people really want to do. And the only jobs that are going to be left are going to be sitting in front of a camera talking to millions of people or one person on the Internet. You know, and that's that's actually a really bad thing. I'm pretty sure that we're already heading towards that point now where we're running out of people to do these odd jobs. And this is a really big dilemma. It really is. So to take the time and think about it, that at the end of the day, the, the thing that solves this is having people that aren't, that don't want the most out of life. And I don't mean the most out of life because having a house with a loving wife or a husband, if you swing that way, with that white picket fence out front is, 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 is enough for some people. But not for everybody nowadays everybody wants more the greed of human nature is just so strong now compared to what it was 50 years ago where back then you could bought out you could have bought a house for 13 grand lived in it and you know raised your family and been be fine now you just can't have that we we have everybody that's trying to be an overachiever which there's there's nothing wrong with wanting to be an overachiever all right but let's not forget that at the end of the day we need nancy to be in that fucking mcdonald's taking these orders or that we need billy to be standing outside in the fucking 90 degree heat wearing a high vise vet jacket and some jeans holding that fucking sign to tell people to stop and go when there's construction going on outside because at the end of the day there's certain jobs that are better with humans than robots would you trust a bridge to be built completely by robots probably nowadays because how stupid people are you probably would but at the end of the day i think nothing no matter how close we make technology to be 100% accurate or better than human nature, 
there's nothing that's going to beat humans in terms of our ideologies or our ingenuity human ingenuity especially in engineering like if you think about it for example um solomon's temple in the bible i know not a lot of people like you know talking about the bible i like to remove religion in the bible entirely because you know what i won't even get to it but solomon's temple for example that was all built by man and it was such a, a wondrous thing that we can't even replicate the the process that they took to build that if you want something that's more you know proof or real you can look at the the pyramids where do we actually think that they had some sort of alien help to build these things and we don't we don't give the credit to the fact that humans are actually capable of doing some extraordinary things without the help of technology as long as we use our brains and you know are the will to do something we can achieve it but where does this connect to the idea of not everybody can be successful not everybody can be an overachiever well we need people like that we need those like my friends that just don't want to do much in life and you know what we need to applaud that kind of lifestyle because at the end of the day even though we try to make it seem like those people aren't important they're more important than what we realize because no million it's just like how big are the rich people now no millionaires want to go out and fucking and be the guy to to move the furniture or work at a warehouse at fucking amazon packaging shit for deliveries nobody they don't want to do that shit they rely on us to do it and now we don't want to do it so now we're we're creating technology to do it for us we're getting lazier and lazier but at the same time the rich rely on us to do these things for them that they don't want to do and they pay us to do it so you know we need we need that group of people that are fine with being complacent with whether it's the bare minimum or just being happy with the bare minimum i guess really to be honest with you now you could take it how you want it you could disagree with the message but really think about it there's back to my english teacher she read this book for us right and it was called brave new world and she she said every year she taught this book and it was one of her favorite books to teach the fuck is that anyway she said it was one of her favorite books to teach and she said every year she's seen the world get closer and closer to what this book is portraying you know and you know in the book now for a quick summary you could definitely check it out you know it's actually at the time before i you know i learned a lot of things in life i didn't really understand what she meant but now that i'm older i actually understand it a bit more so summary of the book is that it's this point in, in human in civilization to the point where humans are born into certain class groups you have alpha omega delta and gamma now i don't remember exactly which like which group did what but for example alpha were like the elite people now these were people that you were born into rich families and you had more freedoms than the other people and i'll explain more of the freedoms of the alpha group once we go through the rest so Zeta, Gamma, and Delta, for example, these people were born into specific jobs and were taught only things that were relatable to the job that they were going to do. So like, for example, in Delta, you might be working in construction. So along your life of growing up, you're only going to be taught things about construction that you need to know, whether it's, you know, mathematics, um, you know, architecture, engineering, but you won't go out and learn like you know, reading philosophical books or understanding how fish swim through the water or the different type of marine life that occupy the ocean. You wouldn't know that because that's not necessary for the job that you were born to do. And, you know, it's less like that for the rest of the, you know, Zeta, Delta and Gamma that, you know, they're born to select groups and they're chosen to do specific jobs within their group that they're required to do. And they're not taught anything more than what they need to know for the job that they have to do, because at the end of the day, the more you know that you don't need to know, the more questions you're going to ask and you're going to start, you know, questioning the society that you lived in. And for example, back to the alpha group, these people had more freedoms into the terms where they didn't have to work. So they could go out and travel to like areas that they were allowed to. And there was a group of elites higher than the alphas because the alphas weren't really the elites as much as they were the people that were like, com not common pop, but like you kind of have some freedoms. Think of it like the people that live in Pyongyang in North Korea, where they're still under total totalitarian regime, but they still have a little bit of freedom freedoms that people look at and be like, oh, well, North Korea isn't that bad. 
which honestly we would never know because we don't live there. But point is, is that these people were born into, they have, these people were born into groups and there was these people higher than the elites that really ran shit. And they had these little group of other people that feel like they had freedoms. Now these alpha people, they could go out and travel into specific areas that they were allowed to travel to. They can go out to nightclubs and have fun. But there was this drug that was free of charge that they, that these these people that ran the, the the country at the time or the world really that they gave to everybody that was free you can go stop in at your local pharmacy to get it and it was this pill that everybody took to make themselves feel happy because at the end of the day one of the things in the book was that nobody even the elites which was the crazy part nobody that lived in that dystopian society was actually happy with what was, what was going on and they all would take this pill which was like a happy pill that made them forget or they would boost up their their dopamine and make them less susceptible to the, their surroundings and the society and things that's going on in the society around them where they're just like you know what i'm high as fuck and i don't care let's just go out and have fun and that's what they would do to cope and you know i forget not i don't forget the rest of the book but i don't really want to go and spoil it for people that actually might be interested in reading it because it is a really good read but i i understand what she meant by we are getting closer and closer to living almost something very close to what that book portrayed and a lot of old dystopian books from the 1960s and past are very accurate on the societal way that we're heading towards right now. But um, that's it.